Pickup trucks are a huge deal right now, and it's easy to see why. These trucks are not just vehicles, they are a part of American culture. People love them for their rugged looks, their ability to carry lots of stuff, and how they make you feel powerful on the road. In 2023 alone, the Ford F-Series, a popular line of pickups, was the top-selling vehicle in the U.S. for the 41st consecutive year, with nearly 900,000 units sold. Now, with the rise of compact pickups like the Ford Maverick, which combines the truck style with great gas mileage and modern features, even more people are getting interested. The Maverick, for example, comes with options like hybrid engines that help save on fuel, making it a smart choice for everyday driving. With so many new models hitting the market, it's clear that the love for pickup trucks in the U.S. is not just staying strong, it's getting even bigger. These are some of the best pickup trucks coming this year that shot the entire industry. First up, we have the Canoe Pickup. Founded in 2017, Canoe is the brainchild behind this innovative creation. Unlike traditional automotive companies, Canoe is the cool new kid on the block, shaking up the industry with fresh ideas and suitable solutions. Their mission is clear to create electric vehicles that aren't just environmentally friendly, but are also groundbreaking in design and utility. The Canoe pickup truck is a marvel of modern engineering and design. It features a forward control design inspired by the cheap forward control trucks of the 1950s and 60s, maximizing cabin and bed space while ensuring optimal safety and visibility. This unique design is not only eye-catching, but also highly functional, making the Canoe pickup perfect for various uses from hauling gear to embarking on camping adventures. Under the hood, the canoe pickup is just as impressive. It is designed to offer a dual motor setup that can churn out up to 500 horsepower in the all-wheel drive configuration, with the rear-wheel drive model producing around 300 horsepower. This power ensures that the canoe can handle both daily tasks and more rigorous activities like towing and hauling. With a maximum towing capacity of 7,700 pounds, and a payload capacity of 1,800 pounds. One of the standout features of the canoe pickup is its impressive electric range. With a capability of reaching up to 500 miles on a single charge, it sets itself apart from many competitors. The pickup is equipped with various charging options, from a standard home charger to a 150 kilowatt fast charging station, ensuring that you can easily keep your canoe powered up and ready to go. Inside the canoe pickup truck offers a futuristic experience with a fully digital dashboard and a cockpit light driver's seat that merges technology with comfort. The modular design of the truck bed is another highlight, featuring space dividers and wall chocks for customized storage solutions, enhancing its utility and versatility. Next up, the Subaru Baja is rumored to be making a comeback, much to the delight of its cult following. The Baja, which was originally produced from 2002 to 2006, was a car truck hybrid that carved out a unique niche in the market. In an interview with Cars Guide, Subaru Australia's MD, Blair Reed, hinted at this strategic shift responding to public demand, which signals Subaru's serious commitment to re-entering the compact pickup market, a segment that has gained substantial momentum with the success of models like the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. Reports suggest that Subaru's new compact pickup could already be in production a move that aligns with the brand's reputation for delivering rugged, reliable vehicles with all-wheel drive. The Subaru Brat, a bi-drive recreational all-terrain transporter, originally launched in 1978, was known for its unique features like rear-facing seats in the truck bed and a rugged all-wheel drive system that set it apart from two-wheel drive competitors like the Chevrolet El Camino. The new Brat aims to mirror the front-end design of the Subaru Crosstrek, incorporating modern SUV aesthetics with a functional truck bed designed for practicality and global appeal. With its anticipated re-entry into the compact pickup market, Subaru is not just resurrecting a model, but is reimagining it for today's needs. The new Brett will likely feature Subaru's standard all-wheel drive and be built on the robust Subaru Global platform, which underpins models like the Impreza and Crosstrek. This foundation promises a compact vehicle with exceptional handling and safety features, an area where Subaru has traditionally excelled. Powering the new Brett will be Subaru's signature boxer engines, with the base model expected to house a 2-liter engine delivering 152 horsepower and a more robust 2.5-liter engine offering 182 horsepower. 
for those seeking additional power. Subaru is also planning a hybrid version of the Brat, combining the 2-liter engine with a 13-horsepower electric motor to emphasize fuel efficiency over raw power. The Brat's interior is designed to prioritize comfort and utility, featuring an 11.6-inch touchscreen and integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, making it a highly competitive option at its price point. Additionally, the inclusion of Subaru's EyeSight Driver Assist technology will add adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and pre-collision braking to the list of features, enhancing the vehicle's appeal to safety-conscious consumers. Priced at around $23,000, the Subaru Brat not only undercuts the slightly more expensive Hyundai Santa Cruz, but also offers features that may justify its price compared to the slightly cheaper Ford Maverick. Third, the Ram Rampage is set to introduce a Honey, I Shrunk the Truck version of the popular size Ram 1500. This new entry into the compact pickup market is expected to start at around $34,000, positioning it as a premium option in the segment. Scheduled for a US release in 2024, the Ram Rampage represents a new venture for Ram into the compact unibody pickup truck category. Despite its smaller size compared to the traditional Ram lineup, the Rampage does not skimp on luxury or capability. It is expected to come with a plush, well-equipped cabin featuring top-notch materials and advanced technology, positioning it as a luxurious yet practical option in the mini pickup segment. Anticipation is building around the three expected trim levels, Laramie, RT, and Rebel. Each trim is anticipated to offer distinct features that cater to different preferences and needs. From the more luxurious touches of the Laramie to the sporty vibes of the RT, and the rugged off-road capability of the Rebel. The design cues are set to mirror the robust aesthetic of full-size Ram trucks, suggesting that the Rampage will not only look powerful but also perform robustly thanks to its expected turbocharged engine. Performance-wise, the 2024 Ram Rampage is rumored to share the same 268 horsepower turbocharged engine as the Dodge Hornet, paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission that promises smooth yet responsive handling. This setup is likely to provide the Rampage with ample power to navigate both city streets and rugged terrains, making it a versatile choice for a wide range of drivers. Technology features are also a major draw for the Rampage. The vehicle is expected to be equipped with a 12.3-inch touchscreen display and a 10.3-inch digital cluster that will support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This integration will enhance the driving experience by simplifying navigation, entertainment, and access to crucial driving data. Moreover, depending on the trim, the Rampage may come with either 18-inch wheels and all-terrain tires for off-roading adventures, as seen in the Rebel trim in Brazil, or 19-inch wheels that add to its aesthetic appeal. Now let's talk about the fourth pickup on this list. Alpha Motor Corporation is making strides with its Wolf electric truck base model, focusing on broadening the accessibility of electric vehicles. The single motor RWD setup of the Wolf is part of Alpha's efforts to refine production processes and enhance efficiency, aligning with their vision to lead the EV mass market. With modular EV technology and an emphasis on scalable vehicle frames, Alpha is setting the stage for extended range options and simplified customization. The Wolf base model aims for a range of 250 miles, extendable to 350, focusing on delivering a robust, intuitive driving experience with a simplified interior and durable construction. Fifth pickup is the Chevy Montana. The Chevrolet Montana has debuted as Chevrolet's first unibody compact pickup, introducing a versatile vehicle that combines the comfort of a utility vehicle with the robustness of a truck. This innovative model originating from GM's Brazilian subsidiary, showcases a multiflex cargo bed that functions akin to a large truck with an advanced waterproof ceiling system. It's powered by a 1.2 liter turbocharged engine, providing a balance of power and efficiency with 133 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. Designed for the Latin American market, the Montana features a crew cab and a raised cargo bed, encapsulating a model aesthetic with practical functionalities. Next, the Toyota Stout. This truck is due for a grand comeback after decades, reviving a name that first made its mark back in 1954. This time around, the Stout is being modernized 
with a unibody construction based on Toyota's TNGAC platform, aligning it more with modern crossovers than traditional body-on-frame trucks. This shift is expected to improve handling and fuel efficiency, making it a practical choice for both urban and light off-road use. Toyota plans to equip the Stout with a variety of powertrains, including a base 2.5-liter Atkinson Cycle inline-four engine producing 203 horsepower. There's also a hybrid variant on the horizon, potentially upping power to 236 horsepower, ensuring the new Stout is both powerful and economical. With a towing capacity aiming to exceed 5,000 pounds, it's clear Toyota wants the Stout to be a capable, versatile workhorse that can compete directly with the likes of Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. These were all the trucks coming out this year. Which one do you like the best? Let me know in the comments below.